We're here in Smartboard Labs main technical offices and uh, many people have been asking us what we use to actually do the Smartboards. What do we use for solder, what temperature, things of that nature. So we're here with Andrew and he's going to tell us uh, some of these things. So um, Andrew, let's start with the soldering iron. Well, we use very inexpensive Weller soldering iron. This is in the local you know, electronic shop will be roughly around 100 bucks. Okay. So it's well of the relief S51. We, we recommend that people set temperatures around 800 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, which is right around there here. Now uh, that's pretty high. Is there a reason that... Uh... Yeah, we, um, the, particularly for the left free solder, you're going to need a much higher temperature okay. to do this. And uh, in terms of for the soldering tips, um, they are also relatively inexpensive. It's five dollars from a local shop, and you, what you want to use is you want to use a tip much smaller than the pitch that you need for your IC or for your smart board. And it comes in one individual package and about five bucks. And these things are relatively inexpensive for anyone to be able to go and purchase and use them. So if you're using, let's say, a 0.4 millimeter um, smart board, right. uh, there are tips that are smaller than 0.4 millimeter and you need to get those. That's right. And you will have to get them, like, they go as small as 0.2 millimeters. Okay. So you will have to go get one of those. Now, this 0.4 millimeter can go as, you know, as uh, small as 0.5 millimeter smart board, as an example. Okay. Okay. And, um... I guess the next thing, we've got the tips and the iron down. Let's talk about the flux because that's something that a lot of people have been confused about. In fact, a lot of people I've noticed haven't really even used flux before. Yeah. Well, what you want to do, again, in the same local shops that they sell these uh, soldering iron and the tips, they will also have these water-soluble liquid flux for electronics. Um, so they have either paste flux or water-soluble you know, the manufacturer that makes them is Castor. Okay. And uh, you could actually get them relatively inexpensive. They're probably, for each small bottle like this, probably like five, six dollars. Okay. Uh, so, you know, relatively to do the job. I and mean, the, the reason you want to use water soluble is once you finish the job, you can actually use a tap water to wash your parts or electronic or your board. And it looks really clean after that. And then, of course, let it dry before they absolutely power it up. Absolutely. Okay. Um, I know we use li liquid flux in most applications, but in uh, the BGA specifically, we recommend that people use the paste flux, That's which right. actually comes in the little little tub there right. versus the bottle. So it comes in like this. Okay. And the reason we recommend people to use uh, a paste flux for BGA is because it actually adhered to it much better for the chip. I mean, it can kind of like bond the chip much better. Okay. Is there anything else that uh, people The last need thing, to yeah, I would recommend is uh, obviously make sure you have a little tweezer because these components just are just too small. Make sure you got some scotch tape. Well, you some can masking get it, tape. Uh, yeah, the masking tape, scotch masking tape, where you can get it in any local store or even Home Depot, anywhere you want. Well, now comes to left free solder if you ever need them. And these are again water soluble. They are a little bit more expensive than the flux. They're about 20 bucks or so. Quality tech. I mean, again, you can get it from local shops. Mm -hmm. and they come in a roll like this and uh, it will last you forever. And we generally, uh, our customers only need that on the BGA again. Absolutely. With our boards, none of these uh, external solders are required and necessary. I mean, with BGA, you do have to put in a little bit like so solder just to flow through those uh, veers. Mm -hmm. So other than that, this is it. What, that's all what you need. And if anyone has particular questions, they could always email us at info at smartboard.com. Thanks, Andrew.